All right, yo, so I'm going to be doing a review of my match on the TWT stream at the tournament for Versus Fighting Birmingham, right? So this is Versus Fighting 12, a fighting game major in Birmingham that happened early this month in August. And this was the match I played on stream. My very first match of the day, by the way, in the bracket, I played on stream against KDF Naria, and it all starts here with this rock, paper, scissors. Mind you, the funniest thing about this is like, this guy right here, Aggie, this guy's a funny guy. So he's a homie, I know this guy. He literally admitted that the reason why I end up on stream a lot is because he knows me and he always wants to put me on stream. I'm just like, that makes a lot of sense. Cause I'm like, how is it that every time I'm in these tournaments, I end up on stream. It happened at Elf, it's happened at Red Bull before. I'm like, how do you keep ending up on stream? I'm like, it's this guy right here. All right, cool. So I lose the rock, paper, scissors. Very unfortunate, very unfortunate. Anyway, I see, you see the homies. Azula and DeSanta back there. So Azula, she's wearing a Chloe cosplay. DeSanta's wearing his Lee cosplay. So we're, we're getting we're getting seated down. So mind you, it's like I thought. Okay, I said to myself, let me get a let me get a selfie with Naria, right? But also, I wanted to give her something because the day before, because this was Friday, the day before Thursday, I remember getting art from. I'm trying to remember their name. Their name was Yo Smoothie. Was good. Yeah, I'm decent. I mean, this is uh, I'm going through my VSF experience and I'm going through the match. So I got, oh, I can't remember the name. I have their Instagram. Let me let me pull out. Let me pull out. Pull up their name. Sorry, but on professional should prepare. Winged horrors. There you go. So winged horrors. Uh, cool individual. They gave me. They were handing out like a bunch of artwork, and we're when we're doing like casuals, we're doing the poverty casuals the day before. And they had one for Victor, which no one wanted. And I remembered, well, I'm playing Nari tomorrow. I'll give it with her. I'll give it to her, right? Because she plays Victor. So I said, okay, let me get the selfie, right? Mind you, I got selfies with, like, everyone that weekend, right? So I got the selfie with, with Naria, right? Which is, that's literally how this happened. In case you're wondering, that's where this is from. So I got the selfie, right? With Nari super tight. Pun life giving me trouble about it. Then, then the controller mix up. So I had the USB C cable because I've been using. So because it's on PS5, you know how PS5 in the front has the break, like the regular USB port, then USB C. I I brought the USB C cable with me just so like it's easier. But they turned the console around, so unfortunately I had to use the other one. Anyway, so I took out the Victor image that Winged Horrors gave me, and she's like super happy because she's obviously a Victor player. So and the CBM's clapping. <laughs> Yeah, so. Yeah, so I, I thought she'd appreciate it. She's like a big Victor fan. Um, so. I knew I knew she'd appreciate the gift. So anyway, so bit, spreading a bit of goodwill because like for me it's like you know, I'm not like a super serious competitor. It's all about the fun. It's all about the vibes. You know, I was there for the experience, so wanted to give her the gift and just have fun. Like like literally, my mindset was like. Win or lose, do your best, show your experience, show your progress with the game, and, like, have fun. Like, literally, it, like, the music that was playing in my head, like, I wasn't listening to it, but the music that was playing in my head was literally, like, Magic Spear from Ace Combat, like, the music I used for Combat King 2. Like, that's literally the song I had in my head. Like, I'm just vibing, I'm having a good time, I'm chilling. You know what I mean? Like, I'm here to, like, have a good time and just give people a show, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that was literally, like, my, my mindset. So, anyway, button checks mix. Well, I can probably zoom forward a little bit, because I just want to show you, like, the, like, introduction. Right? So, we had to wait for, like, a second to <laughs> get the thumbs up. Anyway, match number one. So, did I meet some Lars mains? I did. I met several Lars mains. Some, some of them were fans, yeah, but I met several Lars mains. Of course, Tendo was there. Shaiko plays was there. But I met a few others. Um... Including people who followed me, which is really cool. So, yeah. My mic is off. What do you mean? What do you mean my mic is off? Can you not hear me? Hello? Sorry, it was me? What? <laughs> what do you mean? My mic is off? As in... Oh, you were muted? Man, you're about to eat a timeout for that, bro. I'm just like, I'm looking at OBS right there. I can see myself talking. What do you mean? I want to eat a timeout for free. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, that's nah, all good. Listen, it, let me know if the sound quality is good, if I sound good, if the stream sounds good. Um, so anyway, match number one, it's like, yeah, let's see how it goes. Anyway, using the Tekken 7 Lars, which I'm famous for, so, you know. It's cumulative probability, right? So it's... I start off with 4-1-2, gauge my distance. I'm like, all right, good stuff. 
down for two fishing for a counter hit. So I'm getting strong up. But the so the important thing to start off with is that like I noticed that they are a big fan of like what is that move? The down one or whatever. So you can see already she's going for loads of big options, right? And I'm not like swinging because I noticed that like they catch a lot of people, especially in bracket. I'm, I'm Naria that is. She catches a lot of people off guard because they'll just be swinging and neutral get hit by stuff. As you know, I don't swing like that. So I'm trying to time. So there, I went for the down four two to see if I could catch their timing. If they try to swing again, because I wanted to score the knockdown. Now, I don't normally do down four two that often, but this is my way of trying to see the gap between the pressure. Didn't work out, went for down for one. They stepped it. Right, went for that move. They, they love using that move a lot. I don't know if that's like down one or whatever, or down two, but <clears throat> they, they love that move a lot, and I was trying not to get messed up by it, so I'm lucky. I went for a sidestep two, and they somehow just micro-stepped in up behind me, which is unfortunate. All right, so my signature move, three plus four. <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, traded, so <laughs> we just fly full screen like it's a, you know, Naruto Ninja Storm. I'm like, all right, no big deal. She shoots me, I'm like, that's fine. I get hit by the running two. I'm not sure how. I'm biding my time. I'm waiting. Aha. So I think they went for a full crouch mix up here. Either that or like full crouch into down back fours. I thought, okay, called it out. Hit the, hit the orbital. You get into the wall. Heat burst. I mean, you've seen this combo a few times. So here's the thing. I immediately, so I've already hit piled on the damage, right? I've pushed them to rage health. Now this to me, this moment right here is like, it's knowledge check time. Cause I, from the from footage I've seen of her, I don't know how much she knows about Lars and bit of lore in the background, apparently not much. Cause she actually lost to other Lars players in the tournament, except me, funnily enough. Um, <clears throat> spoilers, but <laughs> it's like, this was the moment where I'm like, I need to now know how, how much does she know about Lars setups, right? Because this to this situation right here is a, is like an instant kill setup if you don't know what's coming, because I've done the damage right, which pushes you to that much health. Like what is that like 20 percent left? Yeah. And I'm in heat, and like I'm already in heat, right? So if they get up with something, rebellion will immediately armor it, right? If they if they wake up with something, rebellion will armor it. If they wake up with so if they wake up with low kick, that'll beat it. If they wake up, but usually what I do is I wait half a second, like I sidestep slightly to see if they do a low kick, which is faster. If they do a mid kick, it'll armor it. If they do a spring kick, it'll armor it and float them, which is actually really bad for them. If they do any other get up, it'll, it will counter hit them and I'll be plus 10, right? So I do rebellion immediately, send one, because this is a frame trap, right? If you press anything during the rebellion, the send one's going to counter hit you and during the heat dash and you're dead. So this is a moment of like, do they know this is coming? Because I'm just going to spend everything. Right? Immediately did all of that. And I, and I went for a regular throw. Now, normally, people expect either a button, like a huge button, or like a, um, a sweep or something, or one plus two throw. So I went for a regular throw to mix them up because a lot of people from Lars expect one plus two throw, right? So I thought, let me go for a regular throw to test if she knows, right? If she knows how to break regular throw. And also, 12 frames being like, you know, for regular throw, much better than, cause like you're only plus five now off of heat dash, you know, no more plus 18 at the wall. At plus five, it's like going for a 12 frame throw is, it's gonna be faster than if they try to do something stupid than if I just did like say back four or back one. Cause here's the thing, back four wouldn't have killed her. Back one wouldn't have killed her, especially without the counter hit. Right, I would have to go for something like a risky low. So instead, using my rage health to go for regular throw because regular throw is thirty five damage with rage. I think it's like forty, right? So I'm like, let me use a regular throw and rage. This should kill her. Breaks it. I'm like, all good. The thing is, here's another thing about Naria that I know. She loves going for the sweep low, and I'm like, if she does that sweep low, she's dead. What did I say? <laughs> So that whole first round was premeditated. That whole first round was premeditated. I'm just like, I know she she's not afraid to throw out that sweep blow to close the round. Because it's so risky, right? It's so unsafe, but it's quite fast. Kind of like Lars is down back four. So people aren't ready for it. And that whole sequence is like, here's what I'm going to do. Get into the wall with the combo. Heat burst to set up the rebellion mix-up. Immediately rebellion send one. 
right? Go for regular throw, not one plus two, regular throw because people usually aren't ready for it. If she tries to do the low, Avalanche stop. Oh. Hey, right? Option, Absolute cinema. <laughs> Absolute cinema. I was so proud. All right, round two. Full crouch down for two starters. So like, I remember somebody saying to me, I don't remember who it was, that like, they said you, they said they know this person played tag two with the way I use full crouch down for two, which I guess is true. Cause it's like, for me, full crouch down for two is so good. Like Lars players don't use it enough. Like it really is like, even though it's from a full crouch, the fact that he got his old down for two back, it's like so useful. Safe counter hit launcher. You can basically fish for it from full screen. Like it's, it's good. Now, okay, now he here's when things get a little dicey. You probably saw that just happen. This makes zero sense. What happened here? This makes zero sense. So full crouch down for two. All right, then two. Forward one, two, three, one, two. It whiffs on him. I'm just like, whoa, what? That's, that's not even after tornado. This is before the tornado. The wall was coming up, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to do four three. Uh, what's his name? Uh, four three two four one two three. Den one two for the wall splat. Then use den one plus two for the tornado at the wall, right? So look. But it just he just falls out of it. I don't know if it's the angle. I don't know if it's like a Victor stance. But there's situations like that where certain characters' stances will just make them fall out of combos. And it's like, how did he fall out of that? I'm like, what? Because I wanted, because I, I didn't want to use Tornado. I could use a Tornado at the wall, but he just fell out of him. Just like, that's weird. That's weird. Okay. This game for a while now. And I thought, okay, knock down. Let me go for Den 3, Sen 1. Does she know? Ah, uh, turns out she does because she went for Power Crush 1. Okay. Mike, fair enough. That's a good that's a good test. Nice. Again, there's the air pressure. Okay, they kept going mid. Oh, so I'm like, all right, I got it, I got it. I got it. Well. The side combo, I'm just like, nice, all right, nice. Heat smash, Lars problem or game problem? You know, it's been a problem, honestly, those characters with awkward stances has been a problem in the game since forever. So it's, it's a reason why, like, certain, in, you know, especially in Tekken 7 and previous games, female characters would drop out of certain combos, for example, or characters with a female hitbox, as people would say. It's, and Lars had the problem in 7 with characters like Dragonov and Miguel, where they have kind of neutral stances where they're like dancing back and forth. You know how like Miguel has like his little swagger and Dragonov has his kind of like step back and forth. Characters like that, depending on when you hit them during the animation, certain combos don't work on them. Like I had that problem in seven where certain combo routes did not work on Dragonov and Miguel because of their stance. So Victor is the same way. And you'll actually see it later on in the set too. Like that wasn't the first time, like not the only time. There's certain characters who will, certain combo routes will not work on them. In fact, there is a, no, not even there is. Lars's heat dash combo, his optimal heat dash combo does not work on Victor for that exact reason. Like literally, the optimal heat dash combo with Lars that uses double den two into four to one two three does not work on Victor. Like specifically Victor. And no other character have had that issue with. Like except bears for obvious reasons, right? So literally this isn't like an accident. This is it's a it's a character specific issue. So anyway. Uh this round I get beat up. Happens Lars combos other characters too. Yeah, it does. It happens with a few other characters combos as well. I mean, I don't know about Victor, but like, you know, it's like a thing that happens nice, in the game. Nice okay. So what happened here oh, is that like, legs, yeah. I tried to preemptively, because you know, a Victor, a Victor habit. So they went for, what is that? Up forward one plus two or whatever. A Victor habit is to do double up forward one plus two. So I try to do hard read while standing three because punishing it actively is very difficult. So I tried to do, that was actually the, the startup of while standing three. I thought she was going to do it again. And if I did while standing three, it would either beat it or I would evade the up forward one plus two, which is a high and punish it with the while standing three. But they did the down two, which is much faster than I got hit in seven. Okay, fair enough. So that was like a preemptive while standing three. All right, running two, mid. So back to one, they got hit by it, which means they tried to step. She tried to step. I thought when they got hit, it was going to be a counter hit, but it, it, she tried to step. So I'm like, mm, okay. Send two, they tried to step again. Delayed hop kick. So you're probably wondering, why did I just randomly delay a hop kick? First of all, it's the JSC special. Second of all, <laughs> I was expecting a low, right? Yeah, very good check. Because I did down forward one, I was expecting either a low or a step, so I went for delayed hop kick. Because normally in this situation, people try to throw or go for a low. Again, 
punish. Not the best punish though. Step Ooh. that. I'm like, okay, finally, I'm, I have the timing. Step it. Beautifully done. Now, I go for a worse combo than usual, because look, look at the angle the Arc Blast hits, right? So, look at the angle the Arc Blast hits. I'm practically in, like, his left arm. I'm like, when the second I saw the Arc Blast hit from the angle, I'm like, I can't do the optimal combo, right? As someone who's been playing the character for years, the second I saw the angle, I'm like, mm, I have to do a worse combo. Because if you try to do the optimal combo from this angle, it's not going to work. I'm like, I have to do a weird on combo, so I had to do... Basic day one combo. I went for Den 2 because I thought the wall was slightly further, so misjudged it. Okay, heat burst. Aha, so here they fell for it this time. I think this was a case where. What's with them back turn jabs going completely off axis? Tekken 8, 3D fighting game, you know? It is what it is. So yeah, heat burst to beat the power crush attempt. They woke up with the bottom like it's fine. I am going to rebellion because they tried it again, right? They want they wanted it, so they tried it again. I immediately went for rebellion, and I think this time she tried to mash and immediately noticed that you can't mash there. I'm like, got you. I'm like success, got you. And pun life complaining about it because he hates Lars. That is what it is, bro. 3D fighting him. Look at this. Look at look at this running to hit me, even though I stepped it. Look. Look. So am I okay? What? What? <laughs> what? 3D game? Excuse me? Like, make it make sense. Like Lars, it's like he Lars is practically on the screen. I can like whiff his scarf from here. And Victor is like in the foreground. Like what what is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? 3D fighting game, right? Okay, so here, and I remember this moment was awkward because like it, it was awkward for a bunch of reasons. Kind of a wild concept. Right? But so what happens is so she goes for the you know the the grow Avenger A. I block the tip of the second hit, and I'm like, hmm. See, I know this is launch punishable, right? It's literally, you can orbital this. You can orbital, you can, while standing three, you can do whatever launch punish you want. The thing is, I block the tip of it, and I'm just like, um, I don't know if I have enough time. I mean, Tekken doesn't have an issue where moves are more safe when they hit from, like, tip range or the final hit or whatever. Like in Tekken, if you block any point of the move, even if it's like, for example, if you block one, one, two at like absolute tip range, it's still launch point, it's still minus 17. The issue is if you're too far, you might whiff, but the, the, the minus frames are the same. It's just that at this point, because I blocked it so late, I'm like, I don't know if I have enough time to launch this. So I don't want to risk going for a launcher and whiffing. Let me instead, let me instead go for while standing 2-3 just to get a punish in there and get some offense started. I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna work. Eh, let me just like, you know what I mean? Let me get some damage in there. So while standing 2-3 and I go for land two and immediately get power crush. I'm like, okay, this is the moment where I'm like, does she know that the power crush beats it? Or is she simply doing it in response to me pressing something? Because I don't know if it's a situation where she'll power crush anything I do or she knows this is going to beat him. Like, okay, interesting. All right, good to know. Mid. I expected another high, so I tried to go for wall standing three. I expected the low that time. I got hit by the mid. Got hit meaty. And then, yeah, just down forward one. So, brutal. Look at the range I move. So, it happened again. It happened again, right? Where they once again went for the mid, right? Now, mind you, this is actually down forward too. So, so they went for the look at the range of that was so good. So they try to whiff punish my down forward one with down forward two. I go for two one, right? Uh, of course, it's a minus fourteen. If I was cracked, I'd like forward back to one it. But I thought, okay, let me just get the two one punish. And once again, I'm like, okay, let me go for the mid. Is it a timing thing? So this time I was like mashing like two one two two one two, right? But nope, even though I did 2-1-2 so early, look how active the armor is. 
212 practically hit her, but that move's armor frames are so active that it blocked the 212, which normally is a frame trap, right? It's a true frame trap. It blocked the 212 and armored through it. And I thought, okay, at this point, I think either she knows or she's just doing it. Important data. Important data. Yeah, recovering the health as well. Okay, running two. Mid mid, mid again. The, the messed up thing is that time I didn't press, I actually tried to step. Because I thought that they'd either try to go for another like down two or whatever, or for like a throw or something. So I thought, let me try and step. And this combo was crazy. This combo was crazy. Just as, as Ru Kang just said, yeah, this combo was insane. That was actually, that forward four, that was supposed to be tail sweep. That was supposed to be FF4 too. I tried to full crash down for doing it, I hit him. I'm like, alright, alright, alright. So, my first game, I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. So, like, that's why I'm kind of like, that's why I'm nodding, like, alright, 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 alright. Like, like, I see, like, so she's like super serial, alright? She's super serious. And I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, I got you. I got you. Like, the, the first game is always the data. The first game is always the, I see, I understand, I understand. You know what I mean? Like, I, I see what's going on. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So we get the beach stage. Oh, Ru Kang, I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> I hear you loud and clear. So I try to go for one four, which I hadn't been using at all. But I thought, okay, let me try to go for like basic mix and see if they know about it. They actually didn't get hit by the one. Uh, she actually got hit by the four. Full crouch down for two again. I'm like, all right, got you. This time we're gonna go for the full thing. I'm gonna use back three. Now. I don't know what happened here. Like, I can't even explain to you what went wrong here. But, like, okay, look at the angle of the combo, first of all. It's actually a little bit weird. Right? Like, look at the camera angle. And then, when it hits the... Like, I I do... I get FF 3 plus 4. I'm just like, what? Okay, that's weird. I don't know how I got this. Like, the camera was, like in a weird sort of side angle, and I somehow got FF3 plus 4. I don't know how that happened, but anyway. That said, I did want 4, 3, 3 plus 4, which is what I'm doing right here. Which she blocked it. Not the best punish, but while standing 4 still decent. Mid-high. Back 2-1, they try to punish it too slow, though. Aha! The second I hit them with Len 1, I'm like, and there it is. The second I hit them with it, I'm like, okay, you don't know about Len 1, do you? Either you don't know, or this whole time, you've just been power crushing me without knowing about the low. Because I always start off with the mid, because I want the frame trap, I want the chip damage, right? I want the frame trap, I want the chip damage, I want the, uh, the knockdown. I'll go for Len 1 if people either stand up the whole time, or they try to power crush me, that's when I go for the low. Because she tried to power crush again, I'm like, aha. So you have just been power crushing this whole time. Because normally, what people do is they, when it comes to dealing with um, Lars's Len, they will either power crush or duck if they're looking for the low, right? Or try to step. Thing is, if you try to step, both options will hit you. Power crush will, of course, beat the mid, but not the low. Um, but since she's been power crushing the entire time, I thought, does she know? Does she know about the low? Or is it just because she expects me to do the mid nonstop? Because I was doing it nonstop. So the minute I did the low, because she didn't, because the reason I kept doing the mid, I'm like, if is she gonna duck? Does she think the low is coming? No, she kept doing the the, um, the power crush. I'm just like, does she know the low is coming? I don't know. But with the minute I hit it with Len One, I'm like, mm, okay. I try to extend a little bit, taking the frames, go for while signing two three, but on block. So of course I don't press because I'm minus. And she was smart to go for that because by using that in that situation, that's basically like a call out, like. Now, I don't know if she, like, this may be Lars' knowledge on her part. Um, if I, if you do wall sign 2-3 on block, you are, like, minus. I think, like, minus 3 or something. So you can't do a follow-up. So her going for that counter hit was smart. Because I I know I'm not plus, so I didn't do anything, so I didn't get counter hit. Oh, I, love this song, I tried to go to Orbital because I thought maybe she's going to do the double low. Because, you know, sometimes Victor's like the double low, the double down back four. So she steps around it. Look, man, Naria's good. Put some respect on her name, dude. Okay, Running 2. This moment right here was like, what the, what? This moment right here was like, what the hell? So I see the running two coming, right? I see the teleport. I go for heat burst. I'm like, okay. I see what happened. 
my heat burst I absorbed it. I absorbed the hit, but the heat burst animation whiffed and he hit me in the back. Oh, that's so weird. This wouldn't have happened in previous patch because heat burst tracks. What actually happened is her move had a built-in like animation that made it go behind me and it hit me in the back. This really is a 3D fighting game. Okay, running two. The messed up thing is she regular threw me. <laughs> like I was expecting one pursue. And she regular threw me. It's not even broken Victor regular throw anymore. It's just regular throw and I got thrown. I'm like, what? <laughs> when she regular threw me, I'm like, god damn it. I wasn't, I wasn't anything in a regular throw me. <laughs> oh. Like normally I try to look for it, but like I straight up wasn't ready for it. So I'm like, okay, at this point I'm just like, lows are coming. Lows are coming. As if I'm a Mishima round start hell sweep. So, round start hell sweep, but watch the sequence. Aha! So, another premeditated round. Let me explain. <laughs> Let me explain. Let me explain. That is so cool as well. So, is with the cool data cool. that she always seems to be power crushing whenever I'm plus, immediately my mind went to, if you always, and I mean always, power crush when I'm plus, that to me is a sign that either you don't know, or you don't know about my mix-ups, or you always think I'm going to go for a mid, okay? So here's what I do. Round start, hell sweep, but instead of going for den 2, which is the frame trap option, right? Or one plus two, which will get power crush. I immediately went for three plus four to, because I knew, I knew that power crush was coming. I'm like, she's been power crushing me nonstop. So the minute I have that, like that was, that's, that's a game of data plus one round. So I'm like, hell sweep into stomp, which will counter hit her. Give me guaranteed send one. No combo. And I've already taken off what, like 45%, like without a combo. People often forget that Tekken, it's not just about combos, mix-ups still kill. Like that sequence right there, she lost 45% just guessing incorrectly from a Hell Sweep mix. You see what I mean? Now I'm plus 17 off the Heat Engager. And once again, I go for Hell Sweep because she, she hasn't been ducking. She hasn't ducked once. She's normally been standing up and power crushing, right? And at this point, I'm like, instead of going for another low, I go for Den 1 because like, Den 1 being, what is it, 11 frames? Den, going for Den 1, I'm like, I want to catch either a button, if she tries to like down 4 to me, or power crush me again and maybe it'll trade. Because the thing is, there's a chance that I'll get the OS. The OS is if I hit her with, well, it's not even like an OS as such, but like if I hit her with Den 1, Den 1 recovers so fast that she'll absorb my Den 1 with her power crush, but I'll recover fast enough to duck the, 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 um, the power crush and launch her. So the reason I went for Den 1 is if she tries to power crush it, I will, she'll absorb the hit, I'll recover, I'll duck it and punish her. Right, so I went for Den 1, nothing came out, I'm like, okay, cool. I sidestep, I use Rebellion, see if you catch a button. Instead of going for Den uh, Sen 1 this time, I go for 2, because remember, she hasn't been ducking at all. I've been going for nothing but mids, so I'm just like, Sen 2, right? Oops, hit my mic slightly, right? I, I'm plus 6, I take the plus 6, I go for Heat Smash, right? Now here's the final part of the sequence. Now normally, a lot of people, they expect the stomp or the throw, but with rage, she like every other every player will normally try to rage art you here. You think, oh, he, he, they heat smashed me, I'm gonna rage art them. But do they know, does she know that Lars can beat rage art? And y'all know this, you've seen my videos, Lars, Lars can beat rage art by doing den one plus two because I'm plus nine off of heat smash. Den one plus two is 12 frames, I'll beat it. At plus nine, right? 12 frame startup, I'll beat it. I'll beat the Rage Art free, because Rage Art's like, what, a 20 frame startup or whatever? So I went for the Rage Art safe setup. Interestingly, they stay ducking, because I guess they've been hit by so many lows, they expected another low. That's fine, though. The thing is, <laughs> this is a plus on whiff situation. The thing is, because they didn't punish me, because the thing about Den 1 plus 2 is you have to immediately duck and punish it. Because it's a high. It's a very fast high. It's all frames. You have to immediately duck and punish it. The moment Lars has landed, he's recovered. That's the thing. 
it's one of those highs where if you duck and punish it immediately, you got him, right? But the second he does his little land animation, he's fine. So what do I do? Back four. Because if you do not immediately launch it, you're going to get back forward. So that whole round was premeditated. That whole round was, all right, it's time. You know what I mean? Does all make sense? Like, you know, any questions? <laughs> that whole round was, does she know this sequence? This is a very anime set play. You see, I'm like, does she know about this sequence right here? Right? This, this sequence I'm about to do right here, you know? Uh, if the answer is no, well, you know, it is what it is. Sorry, give me one second. All right, sick. So, yeah, I did the um, the back four. I, I, did, I did the magnetic knee animation, the, the cue, you know. So, anyway. Anyway, so I do sidestep two. Aha, and they got hit by this, which means they don't know about this setup. So, this isn't guaranteed. The sidestep to stomp follow up is guaranteed, right? Because they're face down, they're face down head towards, right? So sidestep two knockdown, stomp face down head towards, so it's guaranteed. However, this follow up is not. The follow up isn't. Normally, I go for send one plus two to flip him over, and if you hold back, you'll get hit by it. This is one of those things where you have to lab how to get up from this, uh, because if you just stay down or you hold back, send one plus two will flip you over, right? Thing is, if you choose to stay down, I have options. If you choose to roll or delay your get up, I have options. But in the first instance, I'll usually go for San Juan Pursuit to flip you over. Right, I go for Den 3 to catch him trying to step in the, um, what's on wake up. I go for Sen 2 again, because I'm like, let me, let me, you know, at this point, I'm like, well, if you're not going to duck and you keep going for Power Crush, like, I went for Sen 2 because I wanted to counter hit her Power Crush. Because if she keeps Power Crushing me, I'm like, I'm going to power, I'm going to, I'm going to counter it with Sen 2 this time. Like this one, this time I'm like, I want to counter it, Same right? She low parried him. All right, good. All right, good, good. Solid combo. QCF2 as well from long distance. You can't duck in reaction. It's a little hard sometimes. Okay, mid. So the messed up thing about this part is I expected her to do the low. I don't know if it was so meaty that I couldn't block it on reaction. So look, I'm getting up, right? I'm I'm fully standing, but the thing is, I saw I had a feeling the low was coming, and I got hit, and I'm just like, wait a minute, is it not? Can I go back slightly? Oh, that's way too far. Oh god, that was way too far. Oh, that's way too far ahead. Oh my god, I messed this up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We'll get there. We'll get there. So I think this is one of those lows that you have to be, you have to wake up ducking. Because I thought I could stand up and duck it, but it must have hit me so meaty as I was standing up that I couldn't duck it. You know what I mean? Because look, I'm fully standing, and I thought I could stand up and duck. I think you have to, yeah, I think you have to stand up holding back. You can't actually stand up duck this. You have to hold down back while getting up, which is scary to do, but... Because I, I thought I was going to block that, and I got hit by my, uh, I guess I have to hold down back while getting up. And it caught me while I was down. Okay, I'm like, I guess the low, because they've been doing the low high lock, so I guess the low, I'm like, all right, cool. All right, heat burst, because I want to get the wall. It hit the wall way sooner than I would have liked, which is annoying, so I'm like, no big deal. It's setup time. Hell yeah. So that setup, Den 4 into Len, a lot of people don't know that Den 4, Dynamic Entry 4, so 434, a lot of people don't know that actually goes into Len. So this hit the wall, because like I thought the wall was a little bit further, right? So I went for Den 4, which a lot of people don't know. When he does the spin, that's actually Len stance, but people don't know that. A lot of people just think the move's on its own. How'd you get up blocking low? You, you literally, it's kind of messed up, but like after you press tech in either direction, you have to literally be holding down back. So you press tech, either, you know, um, one or four to either get up, um, you have to either get up rolling away or towards, right? You have to tech immediately or hold up or hold back, then hold down back immediately. It's kind of risky and stupid to wake up blocking low, but to beat a setup like that, you have to wake up blocking low, which is, is risky, but that's how you do it anyway. So I went for Len 2 setup, sorry, Len 1 setup, right? By using the Den 4, which they, once again, they tried to power crush me. So boom, got him, right? Oh, that was nice there. Anyway, so I do... 
micro dash. Now this is important. After hitting them with Len 1, you're not plus, but I do micro dash heat smash because from this range, you probably wouldn't think you can get heat smash, but Lars's one has a ton of range. So I do micro dash heat smash because this catches a lot of people getting up. The thing is, if you if you try to roll, it hits you rolling. If you mash while getting up, it'll counter hit you and do a ton of damage, right? If you block it, of course, I'm going to be plus. If it whiffs slightly, the second hit will hit you, which is will give me a bigger combo. So anyway, heat smash. And then I go for the low this time, right? Into mid, because they duck. So they, they expected low, low, and I went for low mid. All right. Now, the important thing for this round start is like, don't press anything. One of the mistakes I see people make of any level is you're so close to getting the win that you overextend and do something stupid. But the desperation in final round is usually your opponent will do something big. So it's actually sometimes down to you to slow it down. So round start, I hold back. I'm like, okay, I have the two round lead. Don't overextend. Don't do something stupid. Wait to see what they do. Because they don't have anything that can launch me from a low. They're, all they have to do is, like, all they can do is running to me. You see what I mean? No, Stomp on hit on uh, into Sen 1. Um, Rage Art will not beat it. You're plus 3, so Rage Art loses to it. Yeah, it's a frame trap. No, on normal, on normal hit, Sen 1, yeah, Stomp is plus 3. And Sen 1 is 11. So, no, Rage Art and any button will lose to it. So it's actually a good option to go for. Send one is safe. It'll counter him if they mash. And if they try to press anything and they'll get hit. If they crouch, they'll get hit. That's why I went for it. Because to me, it's like no reason to risk the low. It makes sense to just go for the mid in that situation. Uh, so as I'm saying, round start, no reason, in my opinion, no reason at all to overextend, do something stupid. I'm doing perfectly fine. Slow my roll. Just block. Cool. I go for the full cards down 4 2. I get accidental roll, which is annoying. Good. I like the use of gun again. Nario, 4 to 1 plus 2. Sides have 2. So they immediately figured out right there to roll to beat that setup. And I thought, okay, now that they've rolled to beat the setup, that's good data. Oh, yeah, try to do something. 2 1, nothing. Now, once again, this is a sign of her matchup knowledge where I did 2 1. She was expecting a follow up. I did 2 1, nothing. Because a lot of people, a lot of Lars players have a bad habit of, of mashing 2 1 2 or 2 1 1, usually 2 1 1. I did 2 1, nothing yeah. into block, which is a sign that, okay, they know. Unlucky. Now, I thought they were going to go for a low here, so I went for orbital. For they stepped around it. Step into combo here. Nice conversion. Are we going to see heat, though? Yo, Oof, good combo. <laughs> so, in this situation, I thought, once again, if she tries to go for a big low, it's escape artist time. It's Ninja Gaiden time. <laughs> you know, if she tries to go, so she goes for running two, I saw she didn't immediately go for the mid. I'm like, if she tries to go for the low, I can, I can avalanche stomp out of there. Yep, avalanche stomp. So my avalanche stomp, I see her rolling. Den three, a little too late though. I wanted to den three to hit meaty. A little... A little too late, unfortunately. And that was a good way to escape the warper. Okay. Every Lars main god, uh huh. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know what they did, but they got counter armor. Okay, sick. Once again, it's setup time. So the angle was awkward, so I couldn't go for an optimal combo. I'm like, let me just go for a basic combo. He burst. See, I'm too far to get the wall anyway from this version of the down back four combo, because down back four could have gotten the wall, but with the awkward angle, I'm like, I'm gonna go for a setup instead. So I end with down four three, down two, yeah, set up for this. The Len mix up, I'm like, okay, you've been you've been ducking this entire round. You've noticed I'm using lows, you're ducking at the end of the round, I'm gonna use the mid this time. Even though from that health, there's a chance that Len one would have killed her, I thought, if you've been ducking this entire time, I'm going to lend to you. I put the idea of lend two into your head. Sorry, lend one into your head earlier when I did the setup. So when you see me do the lend mix up in your head, you're going to get this idea that, oh, the low's coming, right? And I've been doing lows nonstop this entire round. So the mix up is like, oh, the low's coming, right? It has to be. Right, so I go for the setup because down by four combo wasn't going to hit the wall. Right, I went for the mid, but they stood up my okay. Now, so here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
Len 2 is safe. It's minus 9. But I then get punished by the power crush. Here's the thing. I think I got hit by a Tekken situation. There's a problem in Tekken where if you do certain attacks that leave you, let's say, minus 7 to minus 9, you're safe. So you're not minus 10 or more. You're not jab punishable. There's a problem in Tekken where if you're not immediately holding back, there is a frame, and this happens a lot online, there's like a frame, maybe a short frame, between your attack, neutral guard, and holding back. The issue is, in that short moment, maybe it's a millisecond, the game doesn't think you're blocking. You're still in the recovery animation of your attack, and your opponent's startup frames are beginning. And if you're not immediately holding back, the game does not think that you're holding back. It doesn't think you're holding back to block. So neutral block, which normally works when you stand doing nothing, neutral block does not kick in here. And that's why sometimes you get punished. Have you ever done like back one with Lars and gotten punished for it? Or Len 2 and gotten punished for it? That's why, because every so often, neutral block is does not reliably guard against something. Because it got blocked, because the Len 2 got blocked, I wanted to neutral guard and then hold back to see what was going to happen. I didn't immediately hold back because I did. The reason I didn't immediately hold back is because if the Len 2 hits, I got to be ready for the combo. So I thought, okay, Len 2 blocked. Okay, I was about to hold back. But then she immediately power crushed me and I got punished. I thought, oh, that's that's weird. Now, I don't know if she just did it in reaction or she thought Len 2 is punishable. It's, it's not. I got punished, which I'm like, that's annoying. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah. So I get running two, and I'm like, huh, decision time. Decision time. She's going to do the low. How did I know? <laughs> so at this moment, I'm like, with the amount of health I have left, it makes sense to go for tip range heat smash. Because his heat smash is a low. I'm like, she loves doing low to close out the round. She's got the heat smash. Tip range heat smash is very good. I'm like, she's going to do it, right? So she ran up, she did it, called it out with the orbital. On another orbital. This might be enough to kill. I go for the BNB. Yeah. Oh, I get the kill. The and I actually and actually in IRL I actually did the Lars Super animation. I actually did it. Finally, I was like, satisfactory. Feels good. Lots of lots of really good movement. We're in there, bros. We're in there. We are in there, bros. So that game I'm just like yeah, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, feels good. But obviously, I'm not getting cocky. I'm not. I'm not I, so I see the sense in subconsciousness. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. okay. But I'm getting cocky. I'm like, all right, all right, we go. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So yeah, keeping it going, keeping it going. All right, so final game. Side step two. So I go once again for the send one plus two flip over, but they tech it again. I'm like, okay, fair enough to tech it. I delayed it slightly, so I'm more safe, but they teched it again, so I'm all right. Side step arc blast. I tried to go for back three, four, because I wanted to get the clean wall splat and use the tornado afterwards. I didn't realize the wall was that close, so unfortunate. Den 3 caught him stepping on wake up. That's what I see. Remember I did it earlier in the beach stage? Den 3 meaty is because it catches people rolling or sidestepping on wake up. So using Den 3 as they're getting up is very good. That's why I use it. Now this time, I want it because we're... So two things. One, right? So when we get that, I'll explain. So Den 3, right? Now the side wall is there, right? They've got about mm, 40, 35%, right? Instead of going for Hell Sweep, right? I go for forward, forward, one plus two because this will beat at plus 17. I'm plus 17, forward, forward, one plus two, 16 frames, right? At plus 17, this will beat everything. And I mean everything. This beats Heat Burst, it beats Power Crush, it beats every button, right? If she ducks, she'll get hit by it and get hit into the wall and I'll convert off the wall, right? Off the side wall. If she presses anything, she gets hit. So instead of going for a big low, I'm going to go for 4 for 1 plus 2 to try to hit her into the wall. But she blocked him. Alright, cool. But then I expected the power crush in response. Side step 2 knockdown. Now this time, I go for send 1. Because send 1 plus 2 
is, I think, 14 frames, right? Sen 1 is 11. Now, the thing is, after this knockdown, I wanted to kill. So I go for Sen 1 to hit her to kill her, but she rolls immediately. Now, I'm surprised because normally Sen 1 is too fast to tech from, but she was able to tech. In order for this to hit, you have to delay the timing of Sen 1. So because I did it instantly, she was able to tech. She tech perfectly. But I wanted the Sen 1 to kill. Normally, I would be able to kill. What I also do is I normally do Sen 1 heat dash. So that way, if it if it hits, I get the heat dash follow up and I go for a mix up while they're grounded. If it gets blocked, I'm plus five and I get to mix them up anyway, right? Uh, accidental jump. I once again get hit by the the double low, where this time I'm like, hmm. That's when I notice I'm like, I have to wake up blocking. Blocking low. That's the second time I got hit by that, where I'm like, I thought I could stand up and block low. No, you have to wake up blocking low because it's so fast. Yeah, okay, roll. I jab and I get counter hit finally, but she dropped it. Hit in my back. That time I just got hit. I got hit straight up. Like she just went for the low on my open way. Keeping it simple, forward one two. Back one plus two. Aha, so here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. This is a knowledge check. So as I'm going to show you a little bit later, back one plus two in this game is minus nine. It's safe now. People have the muscle memory that used to be minus 11. So by doing back one plus two here, I normally see, okay, do you know that it's safe now? Because if you don't, then this setup's gonna work. So I do back one plus two, minus nine. She goes to jab me and I duck. Because the thing is, a lot of people, they think back one plus two is still minus 11 or they think it's punishable. But because it's safe, what I will do is I'll do back one plus two. And if I see them try to press something, I'll duck. Because they try to press a jab to punish it because they think it's minus 11 and I'll duck and punish it. All right, cool down to the wall. Now this time I go for the setup, the 4 one 2 3 setup, right? I see them delay get up. I go for Den 4. I go for Len 2 again because if you recall in the beat stage, remember, I used Len 1, the low. They power crushed it. So because she power crushed it the last time, I um, I got here with the, the low. But now that I've planted the seed in, in like the mind of like, okay, there is a mix up here. The last time I did the Den 4 setup, you know, the little poke low, I went for the low. I went for Len 1. This time I went for Len 2 because 1, it wouldn't have killed. And 2, with the health she's got, I need a bigger combo to kill her. So I went for Len 2, blocked. This time I hold back immediately because I'm like, okay, last time I got punished, so I'm going to hold back this time. And I, I just got hit. That hit grounded. I guess wrong. The thing is, I so what's messed up is I expected because she's been doing that big low. So I ducked. Because I'm like, I can't duck that low in reaction. I have to duck it just raw. So I ducked it, but then she did the mid again. I'm like, oh man. Like I've been trying to read that low the whole time. So this is very unfortunate. She's somehow, the heat smash whiffs. Somehow it whiffed. I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. Just kidding. Punish that. Because it is minus 14. Punish it. And immediately break the floor, right? Because I'm at the wall. So you could use the tornado, but I wanted to break the floor immediately, go downstairs and use the tornado downstairs. Victor hitbox strikes again. Victor hitbox strikes again. He falls out of the combo. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I can't do that combo to him. So, because I went for an easy combo, I didn't go for anything complicated. And he fell out of it. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Victor hitbox strikes again. So I try to go for a send 3 plus 4 to keep it safe, and if she gets hit, she'll go downstairs. I expected power crush or a jab, so I go for down back 4, but I got strong instead. Unfortunate. She started to use tracking moves, which is good. Aha, uh -huh, so do you see what I'm talking about? 
It did, yeah, trust me, like, dropping combos, it can mess with you a little bit, but for me, it's more of like, oh, that's annoying. Like, that's annoying, but like, it, good to know kind of thing. And to be fair, like, I've labbed better combo options anyway for Groundbreak after that, but that's the combo I knew, and it dropped, so I thought, Okay, I think I need to, because th not just for Victor, but in general, I need to think of more consistent stuff. And I found more consistent stuff. You know, you live and you learn, you know? So, she's going for tracking moves because she sees I step a lot, right? Which is good. But I delay my timing. I then go for side step two. Stomp. But here's what I do. Instead of going for one pursuit as I've been doing, I do delay Sen 1. Because now that I've seen that you can tech the follow-up, this is the next level of the mind game. Okay, normally it's side step two, stomp, send one pursuit to flip you over. If you tech that, I'll start doing send one, which usually catches it. If you tech that, the next step, I will delay send one. This one's really good because if you, usually people will delay tech and press a button and wake up and delay send one will hit them. Or they do delay get up duck. So if I do delay send one, it will hit you or you'll block it and I'm safe. So the next level of the mind game is if I see you tech it, I will do delay send one. But the thing is, and this is the next level premeditated, the, look at the range of it. This is why this is such a good setup. Right? You have to understand. It's all it's all premeditated, right? Side step two. Knock down. Flip him over, right? So delay send one. But because of the distance of it, uh, mind, this move's fine minus six, by the way. Not minus 10 like he used to be in 7, as we were about to see. It's minus 6. If I see that you try to punish the Sen 1 or swing afterwards, because I'm not only am I safe, I'm at a distance. If I see you try to punish the Sen 1, I can 3 plus 4 you for free. So that situation where I see that you will, you now know how to tech the side step 2 setup. I'll do delay Sen 1. If you try to punish it, you'll get hit by 3 plus 4. Yeah. Hell sweep, they go for once again hell sweep, they go for um power crush, they get hit. But they dock the follow-up because I think they expected double O, so fair enough. But luckily I only went for send four uh, den four, so only minus twelve. Exactly nice. Alright, cool, I got hit, I do trades, I back off. Unfortunately, that move they just did is minus fourteen. I think that the problem was that I thought they only did one hit, so I was already doing down forward two. I wasn't ready to forward back to one because I thought they only were going to do the first hit. Because, like, I normally, that move... Yeah, because she tried to power crush right once again. I go for den four, only minus 12. Trade off the down forward one. So, normally, normally, she only does the first hit, right? She does the first hit into teleport. Because you've seen that a few times. She uses the sword... First hit into teleport, right? She's done that a few times, right? So I'm going to do down forward two preemptively to knock her down. The thing is, she does both hits. I'm like, oh, oops. In my mind, I'm already doing down forward two. I wasn't ready to forward back to one. I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. But I thought, never mind. Let me get the send two to cash out, right? Right? I send one, heat, heat dash. Once again, I go for regular throw, right? Once again, I'm like, okay, regular throw. But this time, I didn't go for two throw. I went for one throw. Because Lars's one throw, it breaks the floor. So I went for one throw to see, if, like, okay, she's expecting one plus two. She's expecting a low. One throw, I wanted to break the floor. It didn't work out. Nice break on the throw. I expected, I'm like, is she going to low me like, like last time? I went for her. I have launched on. I keep it nice and safe. I go for while standing three, preemptively. And she isn't familiar with this setup. So while standing three into Len... I think you're plus four, right? So either she tried to press a button or duck, and she got hit by the Len 2 setup. And then Den 3 caught her standing up, so good round, good round. Okay, starting to mix in full crouch mix. I'm like, okay, so full crouch, down 1 plus 2. 2-1, two, keep it safe, don't press anything. 1-4, Len 2, okay, keeping it safe. Orbital. Like, I'm like, at this point, I have a round, don't overextend, safe mix. Just go for safe mix, pack on the pressure, you know, death by a thousand cuts. I go for delayed hop kick, looking for something big. Funnily enough, there's the low after I did it, not before. Once again, I do down forward one side step two, looking for her to press, but like, I think she figured it out at that point. 
Dude, again, look look at the angle I blocked that that's running to. Trying to be quite careful. Oh, that could have been a big whip and big punish, but oh, what a mistake nice here. punish. Like, look at it, dude. Look at where I'm blocking it. Like, Lars, once again, Lars is practically on the screen. Victor is, like, running off into the sunset, and I somehow, and, like, the hitbox of it. It's like, you can kind of see, it's like a massive circle, right? Like, what the heck? It's so ridiculous. Now, here's the part that really kind of, like, threw me for a loop. Here's the part that kind of like messed with my head a little bit. When I saw her finish this string, I'm like, oh, you are so screwed. You're so screwed, right? While standing three punish. And I'm like, oh no. I had this moment where I'm like, oh God. Let me explain. What happened here is very unfortunate, but this is one of the main difficulties of Tekken, especially at competitive level. So she wanted to do this string to catch me mashing to send me downstairs. Thing is, I know this string is launch punishable, but here's the problem. This string is only minus 18. Expulsion, you know, expulsion, that move is minus 20. So I know expulsion is launchable by while standing three. And, and I'm ready for it. She hasn't used it once. But I'm like, if she tries to use regular expulsion, um, she's gonna eat like she's gonna eat the full extent of the law. You know what I'm saying? But she hasn't done it. She does the string version. In my head, I see the expulsion. I'm like, oh, here we go. Problem is, the string version is minus eighteen. Expulsion on its own is minus twenty, but the string version is minus eighteen. While setting three is twenty frames exactly, so I couldn't punish it. And I forgot in that moment, I forgot that the string version of uh, IA stance or whatever IA stance, IA stance into that string is minus 18. Expulsion on its own, up one plus two is minus 20. I thought that they were both minus 20. So I went for a while standing three. The reason it didn't punish it is because it's literally two frames off. And I'm like, damn. In that moment, I'm like, what? I'm like, then I remembered in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh no, the string version is safer. So I go for while standing three and it didn't punish it. I'm like, That's damn. Bad. But I thought, okay, you know what? It didn't punish it. Len canceled what low, J just to cash out some damage, right? She tries to power crush it again. I do while standing two back because I haven't done it once. Because while standing two back is a setup into Den one plus two, but she didn't do anything. I'm like, okay, fine. This, this is tense. This is tense. So, admittedly, I dodge the shy. I dodge it with side step two, which it would have been sick to launch it, but. Dodging it is totally fine too. Go for the stomp. Now this time, I delay the follow-up and I go for send two instead. So notice how I said if I see them delay their get up and sidestep, I have an option for that too. So send two is good for that, right? And then I go for while standing two one. Because at this point, send two, I'm standing low, right? And then I go for while standing two one because if it one, there's multiple things. One, if they press a button or they, or they crouch, it'll hit them. If they press anything, right, uh, it's counter it, which is better. If they press something after the wall standing two, the, the wall standing one will counter hit them and knock them on the ground, allowing me to set them up on the ground, which is even better. And at that health, if the wall standing two had counter hit or knocked her on the ground, she probably would have been dead. The mix up would have killed her, right? Fortunately, that didn't happen. Finally, I take the plus five, I go for one plus two. She breaks it. I'm like, ah. At that point, I'm like, okay, I've been doing nothing but regular throw this whole time. Is she going to be ready for the, for the, um, is she gonna be ready for the one plus two? Foiled again. She she was ready for it. <laughs> Unfortunate. Power crush. And the thing is, I try to do not power crush. Heat burst. I try to do heat burst. Heat smash. She tries one plus two. Me. I'm like, I don't think so. <sighs> this is so unfortunate too. So I thought she would try to run up low or run up heat burst or run up something. So I immediately heat smashed. Right. Normally I've been rebellioning, but I thought. Let me heat smash her immediately. If I if she presses something, she's dead. Instead, she steps. I'm like, ah. And then I see the heat burst with. I'm like, oh, while well, standing 2 1. But she was able to block. I'm like, oh, man. Because I saw the heat burst with, so I could, thought I could while well, standing 2 1 her. Punish. And then she goes for it. And at this point, I'm like, okay. Last chance, last chance. I'm guessing low. It was a mid. 
And that's it. <laughs> and I'm like, and then, yep. <laughs> Shake hand, I'm like, you know what? Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> She's like, and she said that was really tense. She said it was really good match, it was really tense. So, yeah, that's it. And she shows a Victor picture again. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah. Oh, man. What a match, right? What a match. Like, genuinely, what a sick match. You die all the time like that, too. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's 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 Tekken. It's a 50-50. You, you gotta guess. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Like, I... When's the next challenge? Like, the next tournament? Uh, honestly, i not really competing. I'm to compete in the near future. Like, the next tournament is Red Bull Double KO in two weeks, but I'm not competing on commentating, so... Uh, you're not going to see me compete, unfortunately. I'm going to be commentating. To me, I here's the thing. I wasn't even going to uh, compete in VSF. I said I was going to go to VSF and just chill and just have fun. I wasn't even planning to, to compete. But I thought, you know what? It's the first major for Tekken 8 in the UK. It's the first time Tekken 8 is at VSF. Let me support the scene. Let me go actually like commentate. So let me actually go compete. Let me go show off my skills and what I've done. And you know what? What better way to do that than in this match right here? I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity to show off everything I've learned all year than to like compete. Bro, I'm, did you not miss the whole part of my be, be being an imposter and my style not working and blah, blah, blah. Like I'm good in long sets. I'm good in ex exhibition style matches. I make a mean YouTube video, but in tournaments, I've never had the sickest record. There are better tournament Lars players than me, unfortunately. You know what I mean? There are. I mean, not unfortunate for them, yes, but like for me, I'm not the sickest Lars player when it comes to tournaments. Like I'm, you know, I make a mean YouTube video, but I'm not a competitor like that. Like I'm not grinding ranked every day. I'm not like playing every online tournament and I'm not going to every weekly tournament to compete. Like I don't have that tournament killer instinct like some of these other Lars players do. And you know, and God bless them. I hope the best for them. But like I will happily commentate and make content and help people out but i'm not about competing but for for vsf i'm like you know it's the first vsf with tekken 8 let me go support the scene let me go compete let me go show off what i can do like i said i couldn't have asked for a better opportunity to do that than in this stream right here playing on stream against naria against this really strong victor listen ggs to naria is a really sick set really super awesome to meet you and play you it was tight like vsf was such a great experience and this match is really good so i hope you enjoyed watching that i hope you enjoyed the analysis it's a good time thanks for watching